Michael Irvin calls out his son's rap career, saying that he grew up his whole life in a gated community, and basically he's rapping about Michael Irvin's life. Let's talk about this. I know it's gonna be mixed reviews or mixed reactions, but let's get in. Let's get to it. Who wanna go first? I'm gonna start it off by saying, at the end of the day, if your dad called you out on your bullshit, like your dad, bro, this wasn't your partner, this wasn't your girlfriend, this the nigga that raised you, bro. Like he was in your life. This ain't like the the dad that wasn't around. Like this your every this your dad, man, and he telling he telling you and the world you full of shit. But how do we know that you said this wasn't the dad that wasn't around? But no, from right. whatever I look when I look at it, shit, th- ain't that why the NFL players retire so they can spend more time with their family? And it's like as soon as he retired, he jumped into the broadcasting game. So hmm. maybe he hasn't been around for all we know. Say. I grew up without a without a father that wasn't around. Yeah. Compared to what these what, what he had, that nigga daddy was around, bro, supporting him, calling him, look, loving him. Look, bro. You know what I'm saying? If this nigga like, grew, come on. If this nigga grew up in a gated community, he went to private school. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I guarantee that, that's probably something Michael didn't say. I guarantee you that kid went to private school. He didn't go to public school. At least and, it, 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 and if he didn't go like to private school, like all of his motherfucking school year, we know he went a majority. And I want to piggyback off of what Stu Stu saying too, man. He said this is his daddy calling me out. See, that's the that's the problem we have today, man. Everybody's a fucking yes man, dog. Right. Your your partner sit up there in in, in a cosign your fuck shit. Your fuck you know shit. what I'm saying? Instead of having true friends, right? You right. know, true friends. You know what I'm saying? Telling you say, man. You know, you know, yada yada. When you man, you ain't living like that or whatever, whatnot. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? And it goes back to a post that was made the other day about you know music is 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 today's music. You know, in, in you know, like the sexy rich and all that, how influential right, right. it is. You know, some people say it ain't the music. Say, man, it is the music, bro. Uh, if you hear percent. something repetitive over and over and over and over right, and over right, and over right. and over again, bro, and you gravitate and you like it, you're gonna begin to emulate the shit. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and that ain't got that ain't got a, that ain't got nothing to do with your parents. That ain't got nothing to do with the nigga that's sitting next to you. Right. That ain't that's that is you. You that is you and you alone. You know what I'm saying? So the the shit that we listen to, yeah, bro, it is influence. It's influential, and the, and the thing about it is, like, when it comes to this rap shit, bro, they take the most derogatory shit and push and, it the and most. Perpetuate mm-hmm. that you know shit. what I'm saying? And, 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 and I'm gonna tell you what's crazy because this this is the reason why you know do I don't I don't I don't like the sexy red them movement. I don't like I don't I don't hate them as a person, but right. this movement right, that they right, have right, right, because right. one, this is what y'all this is what y'all think black women are. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm that's, dead they, ass that's, serious. That's what they I'm dead, even even the dudes that have like the black girl fetishes, I am not talking about somebody who, you know, a couple who just fucking like each other. I'm talking right. about people with fetishes, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Some d- dudes who have these, these these black woman fetish, that's the fucking black woman that they go for. Right. Yep. That ratchet ass shit, right. dog. And and, right. and this is their perception of what a black right. woman is, bro. It, it, it's supposed to be. And then, if you go into the fucking store, a Walmart or anything, you'll see a little kid <laughs> singing this shit. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, singing this shit and their parent is right there. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, it's it's just it's just it's just a, it's just a lot of shit that go into being who you are. A lot of motherfuckers don't want to be who they are. You know what I'm saying? So the kids don't like you're kind of saying like they don't care Mm-mm. like about if he didn't come from that or if he Mm-mm. came from that. Right. They're still gonna jam the music. Right. And be influenced by it. Be influenced by that type of shit. That and he's and we're we're kind of at a point in society <laughs> where. We're at, we're kind like of at a point thing. in society where yeah, like shit. the more fucked up and the more shitty and the more offbeat it is, the more praised it is. I'll, I'll say this about the, I mean uh, about uh, Michael Irvin's son, he couldn't rap that shit if he wasn't influenced by it. A hundred percent. You feel what I'm saying? A hundred percent. He could he couldn't say none of the shit that right. he say. And and I bet and I bet he sound good as fuck, bro. He do. He, he, I bet he, he ain't gonna lie. I listen he, to it. And he, he was good. I was gonna say that's what was going. I was gonna say I'm gonna let you finish though. Go ahead. And and, and but 
it all boils down to like, bro, is that really you? Because you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But I, then I ain't, ain't trying to cut y'all kids. Okay, okay, one okay. more time. But then on the back end, it also goes to say too, like, 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 like King was saying, you know, maybe Mike isn't there as much as he would like to be with right, the, with right. his schedule. Right. And ain't no telling what type of niggas this little nigga hanging around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, ain't no telling, bro. Yeah. Ain't no look, telling. Look, 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 look at John Moran. Right. He's influenced by it. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because it's seen but, it. But what type of niggas could you possibly be hanging around with in a gated community? Okay. Yeah. Oh, he might not be Hold there, on, let me finish my right. sentiment. And the reason right. I say that is because the dudes that you're hanging around, they're just pretending to. It's just look, that some look, of these niggas is pretending harder than you. You took the words right out of my mouth because guess what? What if it's ten little niggas like that, like him there in that gated community? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> they can fantasize that shit out the way Pretended they want the to, way. pretend it all the way out. And guess what? They can eventually really be about that life right. on some dumb shit, right. on some ignorant and shit. You know what I'm say. saying? Not pretending on, not hard a, to yeah, make it real. pretending hard exactly, pretending hard enough to where it becomes their life. Because right. say, when I was in the penitentiary, bro, I came across a bunch of square guys that was like, bro, nigga fucked up. I don't even, I'm talking about gated community kids. Right, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, that right. like, bro, I really fucked up. I didn't, we, we robbed some dudes off on some drunk shit, on some pill shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what yeah. no real, there ain't no thorough niggas. Right. Just on some, because of what they listening to, we, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Shit like cool that. Shit. Yeah. It, motherfucker, motherfucker paint a picture in their head and really believe that shit. My and my, what I was going to say is my, my, my homie, I don't even want to say his name. He locked up in the penitentiary right now. I'm going to just go by his first name. So free my homeboy, Michael, man. He He's from a gated community, but all his cousins are from fucking, which is a neighborhood called Abuleta, which is, yeah. is Abuleta. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was wild. Back they walk, that's a wild neighborhood? Yeah. Fuck so, yeah. He don't hang with the kids over there in the right, gated community. Right, right, he hangs right. with his cousins. That's yeah. crazy. So he's influenced by Abuleta Hood. He's not influenced yeah. by, he don't give a fuck about nothing that's going on in that gated that's community. Crazy. That's just where he lives like, because of his parents. Yeah. That, that If it was up to him, he'd rather live in Abuleta. But I, he's living in this gated community because his look, parents. Look, look, I, and I feel that a thousand percent, but I've always looked at it from somebody that's grew up in the hood, lived yeah. in the hood like, yeah. Like we trying to get out this motherfucker. And I had a white boy Why friend. is these motherfuckers that are already out this motherfucker and living a grand life trying to get in? Because, because they think they, they were never, buy their way into it's, it's, the hood. It's, it's they not were even. Never it's not even. In the first it's place. not even. It's not even think uh, trying to buy their way in or anything like that. It's because we make that shit look Ooh. good, dog. Right, yeah. right, you know right. what I'm saying? That shit is right, influential, right, right, right. dog. Right. Right. This so is this is the these are the right. only right. type of these are the only type of if you don't look kind of rough around the edges, them bitches right. ain't trying to fuck with you, right. dog. Right. Bottom line, they they the square dude and shit. They pass up all of, they pass up have three babies and then go try to get that nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, they look, will, they will, they will. they come they come for the dudes that's rough around the edges, yeah, man. Yeah. Until they find out, nigga, you, we really rough around the edges, and bitch. I, it's I not will just say you, that we do you make we 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 are a people or a culture that will turn this lemon into lemonade and and make it look real tasty, man. And that's what I was gonna to say too. My white boy, homeboy, too. I feel free, that. Free I Steve get that. And, and uh, Cantu can vouch for this man. We would be. I would be going to a Foot Locker to buy the new Jordans and shit like that, getting them hoes for retail, fucking one seventy, one eighty, what they would right. cost. My homeboy, he was dope fiend, and he didn't. He didn't give a fuck. Like he ain't finna wake up at no six, seven o'clock in the morning go buy them Jordans. Man, he gonna get on pick your shoes uh, dot com uh, two motherfucking weeks later and buy them same motherfucking shoes for three fifty and not give no fucks. Yeah. And, and rock them hoes and with the he just down want to be down with you, you know what I'm saying like it's why are, why like why why are you I would be the one you should it, if it was anything it looked to me like it would be reverse that yeah you would mm -hmm. be the one trying to get them for retail and I would be the yeah. one that's willing to go right, right. pay all the fucking extra money but wanting to be so down with the culture that you're willing to pay that extra fee because he see them niggas on TV with mm -hmm. that bag he, 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 don't, he don't know <laughs> deep deep inside yeah. the culture nigga we barter. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? We look for boosters and shit. Yeah. 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 We yeah. barter and look for oh, boosters God. and look for the chief. That shit that you see on TV, them niggas bullshit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. Mm -hmm. That shit ain't And no a lot of the real. money that you see when you talking about Gotti and, and yo Gotti and motherfucking me, Rick Ross and them spending money, nigga, that's, they got to spend that money for tax purposes. Mm -hmm. yeah. right, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, yeah. Right, right. yeah, that nigga just shit bought a $300,000 house. I mean, a $300,000 car, nigga. He better spend that money or that, he going to get they gonna take three hundred thousand yep. dollars yeah. from him, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Shit, he better spend that yeah. fucking money. When you playing with different money, man, it's, it's a different type of talk. Yeah. We are gonna yeah. stay over here in the poor people lane, and we are gonna play with this punk money, man. Shit. Yeah. Shit, yeah. I, I went. And, uh, I was gonna give the dude the benefit of the doubt because I went on YouTube and peeped out you his first him. video. In the first video, he wasn't talking nothing thuggish. He was just rapping about like having fun and you know what I'm right, saying having a right, good time and right, shit. Right. Right. And I was like, well, Michael Irvin on some bullshit. He just fucking straight up hating on the kid. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, But then I go to the second video and they got guns all out yeah, and shit uh, like that. And I'm like, oh, man. Stick to the fun shit, man. Yeah, stick to the fun stick shit. Stick to the fun shit, bro. But he, but he just or, saw that video and said that? Because or. The video was four years yeah, old, Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he's dropped anything in the last couple of years, right? That his well, son, you know, like everything was old. I don't think I think that people think that the fun shit is Why soft. That yeah, that's Hell what yeah, I was yeah. trying to figure probably out. Man, he just pissed that's off probably, his dad. That's probably publicity that's stunt. He, he just pissed off his dad. His dad's old. I'm a publicity call you stunt. I, the I, dad's I, behind I, it. He's like, I'm gonna help you out. Maybe I wasn't here for your first 15 years of your life. Did you say chasing mine? So what now I'm, I'm, I got a platform. Give you a booster. Sixty-three thousand. Boost them. Why not? And it was at what before? When I saw it, it was like at four five thousand. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say like sixty-two. Shit, it's just, so, I feel it's run, it feels to run it up now. Yeah. Everybody been go look at that. Did he that go shit. about it the wrong way? Who? What's the wrong way? Controversy sells. No, nah, he made you watch it. it. He didn't go about it the times. wrong way. He, he was, a, he was saying a, my son is fake. He just, he just. I mean, who you got to prove that you real to? Who you got to prove that you real to? Say, say, he ain't. I don't say that he necessarily like said his son was fake. He was just like really saying, man, look, man. My son, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, this, this is <laughs> right, my right, son, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Not necessarily like ass. my son, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, key words right you know, there. shit, if if, if 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 I was him and I had raised my kid and I knew my son, I probably said the same shit, shit too. Mama. <laughs> so let me tell you about my son. <laughs> How do we know that he's not stressing him out right now? Like, that's why I, he said that. For real, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a goddamn child of mine, but yeah. you know, what? Man. Or maybe he just don't want to admit it. Like Marcus in the comments says that dude was in Fort Lauderdale with his cousins cutting up. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, what, what Michael Irvin's like, he don't know none of that shit. Exactly. That's what yeah. I said. What if Michael yeah. Irvin ain't know he been in, he was in Fort, Fort Lauderdale. Michael Irvin over there at the NFL Network, wherever the fuck that's at, getting ready for the 7 p.m. show. And them niggas, just, they just got done doing drive-by at 6. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe he's like that now, but he wasn't because he said you came from... This. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, you could pretend yourself to, to be whoever <laughs> yeah, you that's want, what I man. Just said. Okay. Uh, and then that's you could pretend shit, yourself man. to be whoever you want at that, the end of the a, day, dog. Shit, like Boston dog. was saying we were jamming like Kamehameha and Paul Wall. They were talking about Versace contact lens and shit like that, and we jammed it. We know they ain't have no real ass fucking Versace contact lenses. Just fake it till you make it. Not really fake it. It's them, just telling the story. Them, I mean, yeah. see, them, yeah. them, them, them Michael Irvin them being, let's say, chameleon ass dad. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
up in the gated yeah, community, yeah, nigga. Right, right, shit, right. I'm, nigga, I, said, I, I know what it is. Yeah, out there was a reason why they called me the playmaker. I was really yeah, out here. I was I was out here while while winning Super Bowls. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, Remember right, that right. nigga went and visit the nigga. He was fucking the girl. He was fucking. He went to go visit that nigga in the penitentiary, man. That's a different type of nigga. <laughs> My girl was a different type of nigga, man. That nigga went down. I need to go visit that man, man. Fuck yeah, that crazy. Nigga. nigga can't come see me. <laughs> That's it's ass, nigga. I'm gonna I'm try to break all his fingers. You'll never what? catch another ball. <laughs> what? Yeah, my girl is a different type of nigga, man. Say, yo, that's a Florida nigga right there, boy. Yeah. That's a Florida nigga right already. there, man. That's Number a different 88. type of breed, man. So y'all think in the end of the day is good or bad for uh, little t- Tarantino's? I mean, bad man, publicity, it don't good publicity. It don't matter. It's gonna Any be... publicity is good publicity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Look what we're talking about. Look what we're doing. Yeah, for straight. real. This happened last week. I mean, yeah, you got down straight. Yeah. Or did yeah. Michael Irvin think that he already knew the angle that people were gonna get on there and try to, in this day and age, pick and, you know, what I'm saying, go through shit to where they they wanted. We want an argument with with Michael Irvin, so let's go listen to the shit. Because uh, if you go to the comments on the YouTube video, the people were down there in support of the kid. Yep. Yeah. And the thing is, it's like he probably he probably just said it without oh. no intentions of nothing yeah, just happening. Right. You know what, what I'm think, saying? Right. But the, the right. way but they, shit, being that we're in a social media world, anything the motherfucker say, everybody gonna pick it back off of something right, off right. any comment. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pick a side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. They, they were. They, but he's been around long enough to know that that would come with it. But, but he was like, but, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He, but he but, was in a heated discussion with Skip and fucking Keyshawn. Like <laughs> it was really him trying to make an example about a football team, and he just ended up bringing up his kid. And right, because right, if you watch Keyshawn's like, reaction, uh, it, it was priceless. Like yeah. he was like, "Did you really just do that to yourself?" Like his his face was priceless when you watch it. Damn. Somebody like, on YouTube said it's it is very funny how Mike went on the show and aired out his son's business, but at the same time, it's kind of sad how we glamorize this type of lifestyle. Bro had everything and is portraying this. Facts. That's, yeah. That was my point. Yeah. Say it again. He, he, like he had everything. The kid has every, like it has. He has, has the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. The world, the world is the world is this nigga's oyster because of the position that he's yeah. in, mm-hmm. and yeah, he I, would I, rather I, fuck yeah, it I off. Mean, the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go do some bullshit. Yeah. That like to do some shit that we trying not to do, the bullshit that we trying to get out of. That's what I'm saying. If that's not where you're from, then you don't know that's where you don't want to be. Somebody said this shit. You know what I mean? Shout out to his dad for putting me on. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, 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 hey! See how many others you think are that far right there, Boston? I don't think, 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 I don't think his daddy was blasting him though, dog. This, this, it's a he just said it. Y'all, he just said it. Y'all, 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 y'all That's what I'm right saying, dog. He was stressing him out. He wasn't blasting him. He was stressing him out. He just, he was just, it wasn't his head. It was his head, man. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like, I, I don't think he went <laughs> to the show saying, like, I'm going to talk about my son. Yeah. Hey, but at the, but at the, at the end of the day, how many people, how many rappers can you say, they fucking faked it till they make it, and 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 they and they and they and according to the according to the industry, according to the industry, when you hear these other rappers, they be telling you that eighty percent of this these niggas is fake, eighty percent of these niggas is not real, and all that. There was a there's an interview with Nicki Minaj, and she was in the studio with Future, and she said she heard she she where she tripped out saying, you know, it's crazy that. Everybody thinks I'd sip all this drink, smoke all this weed, do all this. Yeah, yeah, he going, I don't. He's like, I really don't. I'm oh, a lightweight. Yeah, He's like, I don't. Yeah. And Nicki Minaj is thinking, you know how many motherfucking kids listen to you and emulate yeah. you so oh, much? Yeah. And they yeah. do it. Right. Ago, right. Know, and yeah. I'm thinking the same thing with uh, what Craig was saying. Like how you were saying, like, man, it's so influential. People right. start emulating that shit. Right. Yeah. And if you think about it, man... Like just like, some shit that this yeah. dude ain't even doing. doing. Like, and, he, and he and he making he and pushing making, it on your kids. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yo, at the end of the day, people have to remember that this shit is entertaining. Bro. Yeah, it's entertain. It's to entertain, bro. Yeah. Nobody said it. Like when you look at the TV and you watching motherfucking uh uh fucking uh, Rambo shoot ninety niggas with a fucking with a regular fucking nine millimeter nigga <laughs> you don't sit there and say like ever think to yourself is this shit real you know that this shit is just to entertain you yeah. it's the same shit with 99 yeah. percent of this rap shit dog it's just to entertain yeah, you yeah, bro yeah. to show you how i can connect these words bro you know what yeah. i'm saying mm-hmm. but, but people really think that like what what really happened is that there was a point in time in the '80s where the rappers wanted to be the fucking the hood niggas and the hood niggas wanted, wanted to be, be the rappers, rappers. Yeah, the and boys. the shit and the shit merged and created 
a bunch of fuckery. What did Jeezy, you know what what did Jeezy say? The way I put them words together remind me the way I used to put them birds together. Now this is what's so crazy. <laughs> but Jeezy isn't isn't telling you that this nigga's son is a fucking like a Harvard fucking <laughs> graduate dog. Like yet. Nah, nah, I'm dead. Give, ass. give him a chance. Give all these kids you know a chance to grow up. No, no, no like his son rappers. is though. Going back with Daddy Creed, we just said a little while ago. Shout out Marcus, I see you. But he says that nigga was ready. He talk about Michael Irvin. That nigga was running the streets. He don't know what that boy was doing. <laughs> God damn, man. Y'all want to keep going? Y'all want to yeah, no, this? This, this is this a damn good topic because the it, it man, a lot of this it, it's gonna always come back to to the influence, man, uh, yeah, and everything yeah. that's fucking going on right now. You know what I'm saying? And and 100%. like what's 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 being what's being pushed is is this type of shit you yeah. know what i'm saying and and as long as they as long as it keeps it it, it drowns the airwaves as long as it i'm talking Generates about my nigga, revenue yeah, this shit ain't even played like yeah. after only 12 o'clock midnight you know what i'm saying right. niggas yo you wake up in the morning bro this is what's on the airwaves i'm talking about this is what's on bro it ain't it ain't it ain't no nothing that's uplifting Cree, you bro. know what I, you Cree, you know what i'll be telling people i'll be like you know what like after like like everything is turned up turn up i'm like bro, when we gonna turn down ain't no balance man it ain't, ain't no we gonna turn man. down it's, it's, turn like, down for always, what it's straight home. There, <laughs> and there it is it's, it's, it's hey little john little john told you you was a believer and you was a believer i do like to turn up though it's, it's, it's straight, but it's a time for that. You know? It's straight. It's twenty four seven. I'm not saying I like all of it, but I do like the the. But twenty four seven, bro. Twenty four seven. It used to be one of the weekend thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It used to be a weekend thing, and only in the cars, dog. We had yeah, to you gonna get tired, music, man. Now that now that it's on the radio, you know what I'm saying. It, it, it don't it don't even it don't even feel intimate like like you know like. Or you had to buy the music. Yeah, back like then, the shit used to feel right. intimate to me because to radio, you couldn't get I mean, it on the uh, fucking radio. It was really for, for a specific uh-huh. group of real heads, dog. Mm. Now you got everybody listening to, you know. Everybody it, making it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, doing and, 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 and access, and access yeah, to it. You could just get on yeah. YouTube. Well, you not can, and, you and, can beat that. Like the kid just walked through the door. You can literally, that kid could get on YouTube and put NBA Young Boy or one right, of the Chicago whatever, niggas that's rapping whatever, that shit. Right, right, right. They don't ask for no age verification. No, nah, not at all. And my yeah. thing, and my thing, <laughs> and even if they did, thing, it's but not even there. Every every female that's that's rapping, bro. Every female that's up and coming rapper. Everything just like that. Ninety five fucking percent of them. It, that's because, bro. That I watch. A, I watch a lot of Instagram, bro. I follow. I look for a lot of talent. You know, I look right. at a lot of talent, right. and I pay attention to what's going on. All of them talk about whole shit, riding right. a nigga dick, right. sucking a nigga dick, getting back. I'm talking about nigga. These, these are these are girls that ain't nothing Crazy. but eighteen, nineteen. Yes, back, they ain't even hit twenty yet, bro. Yes, this is just on their mind. And nigga, we got young boys younger than that, nigga, nine, mm-hmm. ten years old, nigga. All they talking about is drilling shit, yes, killing yeah. shit, my nigga. Since you the, know what I'm and saying? The, and and the, I'm the, like, it, there, there's no there's no balance in the thing. Is, I think Creed, you just got to look for it, Creed, because you can't bring up Snow the product without Snow the product. Don't do None no, of that I shit. know, but, that, but, but and this, she's this considered is, a fucking this lyricist. Is, this is she's what five percent of this the ninety-five. Exactly what that's what okay. I'm saying. She, okay. she, she's you know one what of saying? she's one of oh, you, bro. She's yeah. not even she's not even the percentile that well we would consider consider relevant on on a on a national stage. Yeah. Right, she, right. She's literally left for us. Yeah, right. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Right, right. She's literally left for us. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, a hundred percent. Cause she's fucking with the dope kids, as fuck. You know fuck. what I'm saying with the with the with the young kids. You get a, you, niggas is nine, product. ten years old talking and drilling, drilling and killing shit. And this is the only thing, bro. This is the only thing that they going to promote, bro. Because two things they know one for sure. Long as they keep 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 playing this kind of shit, pushing this kind of shit, niggas gonna be on drugs. Yep. Hoes gonna be on Shooting drugs. Each other. It's gonna be all this type of. Type of killing and shit going on, and this shit ties in with the prison system, bro. Mm-hmm. So th- oh, and- th- these two things gonna always keep rotating now, and they don't give a. F- and now the prison system don't give a fuck what color the body is that comes. And, and also, I you wanna, I wanna, we, how we was talking about Snow the product. I wanna also throw Rhapsody in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. She, 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 and, exactly. And, 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 and she even Jean Grey, like, bro, bro. Like, but like she, my, like, like, like for my kids, bro. For my kids personally, my kids. When growing up in in my household, bro, I did not play that bullshit for my children, bro. They listening to Lauren Hill. Mm-hmm. They listening to Rhapsody. They listening. You know what I'm saying? They listening to uplifting. Like we not promoting 
or 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 portraying none of that yeah. bullshit here, dog. So Snoop murder was the case never played in your house. No, in their no, not not for my children. No, not at all, my guy. Yeah, Salute to you, in my house either. That's not, not for my kids. Not, that, not at all. As a kid, not even a little bit. That bro. got played that's in crazy. the car whenever my daddy was smoking, but that wasn't nothing that he was just gonna play in the house. No, nah, that's like I'm, and the house was gonna be like some R and B, some Jody C. You know what I'm saying? Some. So maybe some Al Green or some shit like, like that, but that rap shit that was that was for the car. Like and my, that's only late at night type shit. Like my Crazy kids probably though. don't even know nothing about NWA, Easy. Like no, like for my kids, I yeah, like I yeah. said, I was playing Nas and Lauren Hill, like that uplifting shit, bro. Uh, 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 uh fucking a tribe called Quest. Like that's what I was playing for the kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's what they still jam to this day. They yes, still be boy. on that shit for yeah. real. I'm trying to think, and it was definitely a lot of little John, like for my kids. But it, for me, <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know it's crazy. No, so so no. for me, and I've told this to y'all before. For me, through my mom, it was two live crew with Luke and all right, that right, shit right. as a kid. But I right. couldn't do that much to my daughters. It was felt a little different, right? So right. little John right. was like right. somehow the. Yeah. The minimum of, of a two my, live crew. Right. Bill, and again, she, like, bro, I got, like, a, like we got daughters. Kid. I got daughters, yeah. bro. So, she, yeah, I, I wasn't on a music kid, man. It ain't, and it ain't much. You can miss her own. So, right. we got, my kids got everything. I don't care what it was. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? They got everything. You know, I'm talking about. But from, they understood from, it was music. Uh, yeah, every, that, yeah, they got right. everything, my <laughs> nigga shit. <laughs> Bunch of screw too. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. They got right. everything in a bunch of screw. Uh-huh.